numerical methods and numerical methods to find the root of a polynomial equation. Let's start with 2 part a. We are given a function f of x, which is a polynomial x to the 4 plus x subtract 1. We are told it has a real root in between the interval 0.5 and 1.0. We're asked to show that. So the first thing you do, you use the change in sign theorem. You work out f of 0.5, i.e. substitute x as 0.5 in, and f of 1.0, i.e. substitute x is 1 in there and work it out. Now you can do this on your calculator by um, using the x to the power of 4, writing out x to the power of 4 plus x, subtract 1, and then press the calculate button and calculate it at x is 0.5. You get a negative 7 16 which is negative 0.4375. And then if you press calculate at 1, it works out the value when x is equal to 1 and you get the answer 1. You must state for the second mark, you must say therefore there is a change in sign. You must state that f is continuous, sorry. And you must state therefore there is a root between uh, 0.5 and 1.0. And then you're done for those two easy marks. Next question. Starting with the interval 0.5 to 1.0, use the interval bisection method twice to find an interval of width 0.5 which contains alpha. So always draw out your table for this one. Um, it just makes life a whole lot easier. So start off with an A value and then work out F of A. A B value, work out F of B. Then bisect the interval AB, i.e. work out A plus B over 2. And lastly, work out F of A plus B over 2. Now, A, we started off, is 0.5. And we worked out that F of A was negative 0.4375. B was 1, and we worked out F of B ended up being 1. So let's work out A plus B over 2. So 0.5 plus 1 over 2, which would simply be 0.75. Then uh, work out um, the function evaluated at x is 0.75 and you get yourself 0.066, let's say. Now you always keep this one. This is positive, so these two give you a positive answer. You're looking for, if you want to find a root between two values, you're looking for the, the number you put in for x to give you a negative. So you're looking for this one here. Because there's a change of sign between 0.5 and 0.75, you know there's a root between them. So your new A, well, it's still 0.5, and your F of A is negative 0.4375. But your new B now is going to be 0.75, and F of B, you know, is 0.066. Now, the next thing you want to work out, you want to work out A plus B over 2. 0.5 plus 0.75 all over 2 and you get 0.625. So then you're going to work out the value of the function at 0.625, and you get yourself negative 0.222. You always keep this one here, so that's a negative. So you're looking for the one that was positive, and the one that was positive was there. Therefore, there's a root between 0.625 and 0.75 because there's a change of sign between them and that's exactly what you wanted you wanted a, a, a width of 0.125 which this is okay and a root between there and you've got that so you're done in this regard okay and lastly part C by taking 0.75 as the first approximation apply the newton raphson process twice to uh, f of x to find the approximate value of alpha. Get your easy uh, out of your five months. Firstly, write down your function. Your function f of x from previous work was x to the 4 plus x subtract 1. Now get the easy mark because in the newton raphson you need the derivative of the function. So get your easy mark by writing your function and then writing the derivative, which would be 4x cubed plus 1. Okay, you're going to apply a formula, so state the formula. The Newton-Raphson formula says x n plus 1 
is equal to xn subtract f of xn over f dash xn. Okay, that's what the newton raphson formula says, so state it. Now we're told that our first approximation, x0, is equal to 0.75. So on your calculator, type 0.75 equals. That stores it in the ants, uh, as the ants uh, capacity. And therefore, x1, you could type in your calculator as ants. Subtract now f of this. Well, that would just be ants to the power of 4 plus ants. Subtract 1, all divided by 4 ants cubed plus 1. So if you type that in your calculator, so 0 0.75 equals, and then you do ants, subtract, and then a fraction, ants to the power of 4 plus ants, subtract 1, all over 4 ants cubed plus 1. If you hit equals, then you get x1 is 0. Point, you want to go to 3dp, so um, 0. 0.725 to 3dp, that's x1. And x2, by pressing equals again, you get yourself 0. 0.724 to 3dp, and you're done. You've picked up the five easy marks there, and that's it.